Uh, no, no, sorry, it's the gentleman over there. Is, uh, yeah. yeah, the gentleman with his hand up there from China. Thank you. I still prefer to speak in Chinese. I come from China. I'm a Secretary General of the Internet Association in China. My name is Huang Chengqing. I ran into a problem in my work. That is, just now many people mentioned the issue uh, of protection of children uh, to prevent um, child pornography on the Internet. In China, in adult uh, website, it is, an allow, uh, it is not allowed to post uh, such things. It is illegal to do so. But in Western countries, um, in many other developed countries, in many, adult, uh, in many websites for adults, we do see this kind of problem. We have some statistics that is in the States for the moment. There are about uh, one million adult websites. Uh, the profit out of this would be about uh, $40 billion. In China, it is not allowed to have this kind of um, pornography websites. We do have organizations like SPU, which would block these websites. And the result is, in those Western countries, um, they are making a lot of profits. The more profits may, we, they make, then the higher the cost for us in China. Therefore, I suggest maybe we can do something here. In, here in IGF, we have always been talking about how to respect uh, cultural diversity. And I'm wondering, in the future, how will this issue be resolved? Maybe we can use this forum to deal with this issue. Here, I'm just uh, raising this question. Thank you. you waiting. Uh, maybe I'd like to turn now to Everton and Natasha. I just want to add a small point. Well, okay. very, very swiftly. Very yeah, quickly. very quick. Yeah, you know, yeah. just a few, I'm Vijaya. I'm a faculty of uh, university, Women University, India. So we are talking so much about the child pornography and cybercrime, thinking that there's a lot of awareness in the society, but the hard reality is that, you know, I've done a research on 1,500 people, you know, including children, parents, and the teachers, and very, very little awareness about the cybercrime among the teachers. And the uh, most important thing I would like to make a point here is that we can't keep the developed countries and developing countries on the same platform. Maybe we can have a global standing, but then we need to work out the specific strategies to the developing countries. And uh, I think we need to empower the different sectors involved in the internet like children and parents and look at the digital divide in the country. I think we need to address here is what I want to make a point of it. Thank you.